What's happening guys, this is Bharat Nagpal for iGandit. In Motorola, Moto X was recently launched in India and is available on online shopping websites for a price of 23,900 rupees. Now the Motorola Moto X has been globally raved and been considered one of the best smartphones. Let's take a look at what the benchmarks on this device are and we'll fire up Quadrant and start to take a look at the system information. So this device for a price of 23,900 runs Android KitKat out of the box. So you can see that it's running Android 4.4.2 and uh, on the inside is an ARMv7 processor which runs at 1.7 gigahertz on two cores so it's a dual core processor and it's a qualcomm msm 8960 dt processor for the indian variant for ram we have two gigabyte but it actually shows 1.83 gigabyte on the total chart and at the current position it shows about 500 to 600 megabyte free for display we have a 1280 by 720p display but some of it is taken away by the on-screen buttons at the bottom so you get a 720 by 1184 effective display on this device with a dpi of 315 by 316. for gpu we have a qualcomm adreno 320 gpu and if you look at the sensors we have a bunch of sensors over here from an accelerometer a gyroscope a pressure sensor magnetic field sensor an orientation sensor a temperature sensor light sensor linear acceleration sensor nfc sensor significant motion sensor flat up and flat down sensor and a dock sensor along with a step detector, a step counter and a rotational vector sensor. So we have a whole lot of sensors on this device over here. Let's start off with the full quadrant benchmark and see what the score is like. So on quadrant the device scores 8535 which is pretty average and it's not one of the best scores that we expected uh, it should have been much more but thanks to the dual core processor is possibly one of the reasons why the quadrant score is that less let's start off with antutu and see what the full score is like On Antutu benchmark, the device scores 23281, which is pretty impressive considering that this device only has a dual core processor. So a complete difference between the Quadrant benchmark and the Antutu benchmark. A score of 23281, still not very impressive, but it's pretty impressive. We check out multi-touch on this device and uh, as per uh, globally known standards, this device does have a 10 point multi-touch even on the Indian version. So that's always good. Last thing we're gonna do is run Nina Mark and see what the FPS on this is. Thanks to the impressive new Qualcomm Adreno 320 GPU, we get a good 60.8 FPS, which is pretty impressive for a device like the Moto X. So that's a quick look at the hardware and the benchmarks on the new Moto X. Stay tuned for more videos and the final review only on iGAN. Make sure you hit that like button and hit the subscribe button. Catch us on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and see more on youtube.com slash iGAN, youtube.com slash iGAN TV for iGAN Networks. This is me, Bharat Thank you guys for watching.